Thank you for this opportunity to just talk to you all a little bit about um, being a National Down Syndrome Society ambassador. Mm -hmm. um, this, I think, all kind of got a life that's its own back when Candy Picard came to visit. Uh, we talked about where we were from the state representation. And the, the reality was there was no one in the state of Georgia who was a National Down Syndrome Society ambassador, which was very unusual for the other how many other 50 states, 49 states, other 49 states. Um, and Candy asked me if I would be interested in becoming state of Georgia first, whatever uh, ambassador. And of course, you know, I'm shy. Um, I was happy to do that. And, and a year later, when Sarah Weir came to visit us, um, uh, she and Mikey started talking about Mike, Michael's passion and Michael's, you know, you know, desire to advocate more and be a self-advocate. And Sarah said the same thing. Well, you know what? You need to be um, an NDSS ambassador. And what I, what I, the reason I want to tee all that up is to say that they took Michael's um, nomination very seriously. They did not just say, hey, we just want to give you this title as an ambassador. They took it very seriously and had interviews with him, mm -hmm. um, gave him the guidelines of what it, what it means to be an ambassador. Uh, Michael and I sat and had a conversation for about an hour and a half um, and, and asked him if he was ready for this. Um, and and, and, and it, th this is not just a, a title where we get to wear, a, 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 we do have buttons, um, neither of us wore tonight. Um, <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Yeah. But um, I, that's just kind of telling us how I, Michael and I got here. Um, Michael, you want to talk about how you became an ambassador? It's an experience to do this partnership program. We create for self engaging people need to learn about different environments need to work on in politics. If it, it become best in the future, I'm now to myself to advocate and self advocate for this able. Brian? Yep, absolutely. I mean, it was his passion. And that's, how he, that's what he told Sarah that night. I want to not only self advocate, but I want to advocate for others. And that, that's what got him to be an ambassador. Um, so here's what basically the ambassadors, the National Down Syndrome Society ambassadors do. We commit to doing what um, Tom asked us to talk about. Advocate on a general basis. That's what one of our commitments is. But the National Down Syndrome Society reaches out to us when they have an issue that they want the local organizations to be aware of. And yes, right up to you know uh, Michael's you know interest. A lot of it's about politics. Yep. <laughs> a lot of it's about politics. And sometimes they'll send us a, a text or an email and saying, "Hey, we're going to have a conference call." or we're gonna have a webinar. Um, and we're required to watch a certain amount of these webinars or be a part of the conference calls a certain number a year. Um, I don't know, they'll actually kick us off if we don't, but, and then they'll talk about this particular issue they'd like us to be aware of. Sometimes they'll say that, would you mind asking your organization, but y'all have received, most of y'all have received an email from me before that said, hey, would you write an email? They'll even give us what you can say in the email. They'll script it for us and let us sign our name to it and send it to our congressmen, our senators, mm -hmm. um, both on the state and national level, um, and, and say, please consider this bill, or may say, please consider not voting for this bill because of X, Y, and Z. So when, when Michael and I get an email and you get an email from Michael and saying, please respond or please reach out to your senators. They'll even give us the senators' email addresses. It's really simple to do. So if you get an email from Michael saying, as a National Down Syndrome ambassador, please do this, it means a lot. It really, really does. They say, if you do not know the effect it has on the votes when they get these responses from their constituents. That's what we are. We're constituents. So when Senator Isaacson hears from us, he's gonna take it into consideration with how he votes. Um, so it's really important, it really is for us to be able to disseminate that information from the National Down Syndrome Society 
not just to the ambassadors, but also to our membership. And, and probably we can do a better job of, we don't want to flood you with information, just, hey, we sat in on this um, conference call about Down syndrome works. But when we do have a bill that's coming up, um, we'll make sure that gets out to the organization so y'all can advocate for yourselves and your families and, and you know your friends as well. Michael? As you become first patient, I would like by to advocate or self-advocate for any disabled people or women rights of y'all prefer, say, in the community. Yes, so because you got parents with different issues right now. We need to learn how to write in the future. And one day I will sign a new bill for disabled rights for all abled, disabled, or non-disabled people in America. We want America. Amen. Um, <laughs> I said disabled rights. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Got it. Any, any questions? Any comments? Three different weekends. Saturday, they were there from in class, and we were from nine to five. Sundays, it was like nine to three. Um, they learned, of course, parents are here thinking, but we're not in there. But I went through the thing. But it was talking about um, how to be a professional, how to do resumes, um, how to, what's important to advocate. Why it's important to get involved in being on boards or advisory boards. I think it was a good thing. It was a good thing to learn. Um, I don't have the specific bills. Um, obviously, there's been a shutdown, so a lot of bills aren't even on the floor yet. So, um, but the the focus of the National Down Syndrome Society has been DS Works um, and trying to change. Um, after um, ABLEC went into play two years ago, now it's changing other laws that are prohibiting adults with different abilities to have gainful, meaningful employment. Um, so that is the focus to changing a lot of the laws that are structured on a national level um, that can hopefully filter down to the state level. Um, and there are some other issues that are going on but that's the main focus right now. It's their campaign called Down Syndrome Works and it's hashtag Down DS Works. Oh, I think it's like Supreme Court judge. I'm there forever. <laughs> I agree to that. <laughs> and can, can you like induct new? new Absolutely. Yeah, no, no, no. It, it's, you know, yeah, I, I think they do try to watch how many, and, and um, it is spreading. There are some in Atlanta now. Um, so, uh, you know, the state of Georgia is being better represented than we were before. That's great. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Good job, buddy. Yep. Yeah.